Hello there, Itra here. Today I'm going to be covering off how you can make your islands produce a lot of extra oil without having any oil mines on them, and how you can make your mining islands self-sufficient for electricity. How we do this is with the legendary Jorg von Malching. As you can see here, for all your mines he increases productivity by 70% and has extra goods of gold ore and oil. The one we're going to be looking at today is the oil. He has a one to one ratio. Every time you do a processing at your mines you'll be getting not only just the ore, you'll also be getting a piece of oil every single time. And the way we can get York is if we do control T and if we Type in over here the name Jörg von Malching. And you can click on the side, and then we can have the options of how we can actually get Jörg von Malching. Now, the bonus with Jörg is with the mines that produce oil, you don't actually need any rail system at all. The oil that is getting mined from the mines is going into the central storage system of the island straight away. So all you basically need is a oil harbor on your island and all the oil that you're harvesting from the mines is going to go straight into the central storage system. Now if you want to be producing electricity on the island to boost up your production even higher for the mines, you can literally, as I've done here, if you don't have a huge island you can literally place the power station right next to the oil harbour. As long as the two rail systems are connecting, the rail train will go straight from the harbour into the power station as long as you have the sufficient coverage. Now how much oil can you actually make from an island that doesn't have any oil mines on it? That depends on A, how many mines you have covered with your trade union and B, how much productivity you actually have. So if we have a look at one of my mines over here, we can see I have 530% productivity on the island, which means if we hover over the play button here, my processing time is 5 seconds. And that is the breakdown of how we're actually getting to 530% productivity. That means every 5 seconds I'm producing one piece of copper and I'm also going to be producing one piece of oil and occasionally some extra gold oil. Gold ore, sorry. And you times that by three because I actually have three mines covered from this. So let's actually have a look. Control Q. This island is producing 42 tons of oil without a single oil well on the island. It's purely just from the actual productivity of the mines over here and we actually check we have just one power station on the island the current demand is 12 tons now depending on how much productivity you've got on the actual island you'll need two mines covered with oil being harvested with your to provide enough electricity or enough oil to provide the electricity for the power station on the island. It's working. I think we have it. Now, if we look at this at a grander scale, if you have the cape, which as you can see has a lot of mineral mining on the island, if you have Yorgs in a fair lot of trade unions around each of those with decent production, how much oil can you actually be producing on this island? Remember, this island only has four oil wells. But the amount of oil we can actually harvest is at 214 tons of oil at the moment. Most of that is from the mining stations over here. As you can see, oil, oil, oil. They're all just producing oil as a byproduct. That is how you can actually make your islands produce a lot of oil. You can also make the power stations self-sufficient on your smaller islands. 
and on the keep you can be producing more oil than you'll be able to produce in the new world. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you do like the video, we appreciate any subscriptions and likes on the videos, and I'll catch you next time. Stay safe.